Hello, this is the Musical Gamer, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 FES. Last time we awoke to our amazing new power, in the form of the Persona Orpheus, the Master of Strings, and laid waste to the shadow that was threatening our home, and the useless and defenseless Yukari. Let's continue on. Yes, we obtained a new Persona. And now it's time... Is it over? No way. It's uh. never over. It's time for battle. And this game also has great battle music. And you'll hear boss music later, obviously. All right. This is your command uh, command window. You have a set of options. Right now, we only have access to three. Uh, we have skill which is the assigned persona's uh, special ability, which, since we only have Orpheus, we have Bash, which is the first ability it comes with. It's a physical strike move that costs 5 HP. Um, the, the attacks are in two categories. Cat first category is the category that uses HP for the move, and the second is uses SP, which is the little blue bar underneath the uh, orange bar in the um, portrait up in the top right corner. Uh, you can obviously use magic, which is uses SP, as much as you want to use the fleeting, but be careful with the HP move because once you're out of HP, game over, and when you're attacked, you lose HP. So uh, be a little cautious about using those. Um, in terms of type, there are three types of physical attacks. You have uh, slashes, strikes, and pierces. Uh, bash is a strike move. Slash uh, is like a slashing weapon, like uh, Minato is currently equipped with a short sword. That is a slashing type weapon. It will do slash damage. Uh, there are like gloves that will do strike damage, hammer that will do strike damage. You have guns and bows which will do pierce damage. Next we have the attack command which is simply you attack using the weapon. And the only other command we have is wait, which is what it is. You wait a turn, you don't do anything. I don't recommend that in this fight because I'm not sure, because I never have, but I believe you can die in this fight. And But the only way I see you dying is if you were just stupid and you just waited every single turn. The other commands we have but we don't have access to yet is item, use an item, tactics, which is only useful when you have more than one person in your party. The only character you can control during this entire game is Minato, the main character. Everyone else is controlled by an AI known as a tactic, which is just basically a set strategy that they follow, like a healing strategy, a support strategy, an all-out offensive strategy. You get the idea. <laughs> oh wow, my voice is kind of dry. <laughs> um, next we have Persona. You can switch personas on the fly because the main character is unique in the ability that he can have more than one persona. Uh, switching personas though costs the main character a turn, so uh, just be careful when you're doing it and you know don't end up getting yourself killed because of it. And the last one is escape, which we don't have access to. So uh, let's just start attacking the cowardly Maya. Oh yes. That was, uh, you see the little down icon over that thing? Wow, I didn't think I'd get to show this off already. Um, if an enemy misses you, or vice versa, if you miss an enemy, uh, you'll fall down, or they'll fall down. They'll take more damage from attacks. I believe, actually, it's a, um, critical hit every single time through a downed enemy. Once you attack them, they get back up. Or is that Persona 4? Uh, well, let's find out. Oh, no, he'll just die. Oh no, he won't. Okay, they do just get back up. Oh god, we're being swarmed. Um, attack again. Alright, we got this. Uh, let's show off Bash, because this will kill it. And you'll get to see how we summon personas in this game. Yeah, that's right. We summon personas by pulling a gun to our head and shooting ourselves. 
No, no, not really. Uh, it, don't worry, it's not a real gun. And uh, we get 20 experience, and here we go. We leveled up. We see at the top, those are the three um, attributes I was telling you about. Academics, Charm, and Courage. Uh, underneath that is your name and your player level. We just grew to level 2. HP, SP, they both go up. Underneath that, with the good and the little smiley face, that is your condition. Uh, I'll be going into that probably in the next episode or two. Because right now, it's not all that important, but it will be very shortly. And then underneath... Blech. My god, I can't speak either. <laughs> then underneath that, you have uh, experience at the next level. Yeah, and you can create personas up to the base level that is your own level. Keep that in mind. And also, personas level up. Not necessarily always with you, but uh... Ooh, well this is a crappy level up. <laughs> um, basically, personas have five stats. They have strength, magic, endurance, agility, and luck. Strength is what you think it is. It boosts the persona's physical attacks, as well as your own main character's attacks. Only when that persona is equipped. The persona stats junction directly to your characters. So strength will increase your characters, your main characters' physical attacks as well as your personas. Magic is really only a persona based stat because you know your main character can't use magic on its own. It increases uh, magic damage. Endurance is a defensive stat for the main character in that the higher it is, the less damage you take from physical and magic attacks. Agility is a character only main character only stat and that it makes you faster the higher it is luck I'm not entirely sure what it is and that's where all three of our um, skill points went into yeah you don't get to choose it does it randomly and we got a crappy one because all three got put in luck luck I never really worry about I think it has something to do with your critical hit ratio and maybe uh, dropped items after battle you don't really need to worry about it oh and what just flashed, and we learned Agi. It's our first uh, elemental spell. It's the lowest level fire spell that you can have. Alright, and oh dear lord, we passed out. Are you okay? What does it look like? Oh, come on, say something. No matter what you want me to do, I'm Are unconscious. Right? I'm not going to be saying anything. Can you hear me? Well, Please. I can, but I don't think Minato could. Answer me! Well, alright, we win, and our reward for winning is a trip to the hospital. Okay, not bad, and oh wait, maybe not the hospital. Alright! It's so nice to see you again. The feeling is mutual, Igor, my good sir. You became unconscious after awakening to your power. Hmm. It's nothing to worry about, though. Oh. So just relax. Well, if you say By so. By the way, I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. Um, yeah. That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. Um, my... my psyche? It may take some time to fully comprehend. A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. Okay. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. All right, that makes that it a being little said, clearer. Your power is still weak. Hey, what do you mean weak? When and you, you lost your me. persona <laughs> ability. You must channel your inner strength. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. I will be going over those later. They're the very, your very links, important. The more powerful your persona ability. Please remember that. Well, I'll be sure to remember that, Igor. Next time on Let's Play Persona 3 FES, I am the Musical Gamer. See you guys next video.